good morning thank you for joining me i hope everybody's well today welcome to another i was going to say monthly but i'm not sure if they are monthly actually sort of nearly every month i'm just going to clean my glasses um yeah welcome to another collective haul video you said when i asked when i did the last one that you enjoyed this sort of format of a haul with stuff from lots of different shops so i'm doing it again that's better i can actually see now <laughs> i feel like you just don't realize how filthy your glasses get i was wondering can you clean glasses in the am i sideways i'm not central am i that's better that's better um yeah can you keep clean glasses in the dishwasher i was wondering if i could put them in the dishwasher and clean them but i kind of don't want to i might try with some of my cheaper ones rather than the expensive ones um anyway that was a whole <laughs> segue into something completely different wasn't it so today i have things to show you from got a few bits from a charity shop i've got lidl i've got aldi I've got amazon and i've got tk max down here as well i did a little cheeky online tk max order let's start with aldi just two things from aldi i bought this peony blush number 11 luxury hand and body lotion and um, i've got the or i've had the shower gel bath and shower gel of this and it's very very nice so i thought i would try the hand lotion let me just give it a go these are the joe malone dupes i think they're 3.99 pretty sure they're 3.99 oh that's lovely i've currently got the actual real jo malone peony and blush suede it's called this one's just peony blush and um, the jo malone real one is peony and blush suede i've got that as a bath oil which i'm using very sparingly because i've only got about that much left at the bottom and it smells exactly the same very nice this i haven't seen this one in store for a long time so i'm glad i got that one it's the hotel collection the other thing i got from aldi was another of the glow recipe brand dupes which is this the packaging is just so cute on these i showed you some of these in my last collective haul or the one before possibly um but the, the packaging is so cute isn't it it's got the little clouds and um, stars and moons on that and this is the h2o over uh, overnight mask h2o overnight mask um that is the packaging um and it's just a night cream really if it's like the it comes with a little scoop and plastic there and it's like a gel consistency i don't know if you can see that let me just um yeah that is very much like the glow recipe one it's like a gel consistency and just rubs in really easily so that for me will be more of a summer night cream with the lighter consistency not quite such a heavy cream um i can't wait to try that one see if it's as good as the real the real mccoy i can't remember how much this one was i'm wanting to say 4.99 something like that um i don't think it was much more than that but um nice big size as well right two things from Lidl I don't often go to Lidl our local Lidl has a car park that gives me rage it absolutely enrages me because it is difficult to park in people park incorrectly the spaces are too small the way round it, it it's a whole thing and I just don't go there because the car park enrages me so much it's also next to a primary school so if you get there any time that's near primary school drop off or lunchtime or pick up it's absolutely full of school parents <laughs> picking their kids up or dropping them off um so I went to the next nearest little which is much bigger and has a much better car park as well and I bought they had a really nice range of Greek stuff which was all fresh and food wise and I, I bought a lot of that but we've eaten that because it was two weeks ago so I won't be showing you that but I did get two of these beanies coffees um these were in the sales section actually this is white chocolate and raspberry how nice does that sound i don't always like the beanie beanies ones that i have to pick and choose with their flavors some of them i find the chocolatey ones i find quite bitter um but this sounded lovely the white chocolate and raspberry and then i also got the maple fudge how lovely does that sound as well so yeah i think they were like 149 each or something in the sales so i thought that was a really good price i'm very pleased with those and 
obviously looking forward to trying them. They're both new flavours to me, so quite excited about that. Right, let me just have a sip of my... Oh, just dropped the coaster off it. <laughs> It's not a very good coaster actually, it's very pretty. Oh, sorry, I nearly blinded you there. It's glitter and glass, it's like a mirrored thing and it's very pretty but wholly inadequate as a coaster. Not recommended, it was from the range. Look lovely but use-wise hopeless. Right, let's move on to Amazon. Once again, I'm partnering with latest deals with this. Well, I'm saying I'm partnering. They sent me a Amazon voucher uh, to find some deals on the latest deals app. We've done this twice before. I will link the latest, latest deals app in the description box. It's so good. It really is. As a reminder, if you haven't seen the last couple of videos, um, or if you've forgotten, Latest Deals is a phone app um, which is populated by forum members. If they find a deal, they want to share it with other people. It's not just Amazon, it's all sorts of different shops. You can filter it by individual shops or by um, categories. If you're looking for household or toys or fashion or beauty or all sorts of different things. Um, and I have found some cracking little deals this month. So without further ado, let me show you what I got. And the first thing is this gin. This is the Sipsmith's Chili and Lime Gin. Now, I bought a bottle of this for my brother for his birthday last year. I bought it in Le John Lewis, and I think I paid like 32 or 34 pounds for it. And I said, I was with my mum at the time, and I said to her, I really want to keep that gin for myself. It looks so nice. Um, just my sort of flavours as well, the chilli and lime. I thought it sounded really interesting. What a pretty label it's got as well, hasn't it? And um, anyway, my brother was very pleased with it. Um, it does say limited edition on there, but I got the, my brother's one over a year ago, so I, perhaps it's not limited edition, I don't know. Um... But I paid on an Amazon deal through latest deals £22.50. Now the cheapest I can find this anywhere else on the internet at the moment is £28.49. So I was very happy with that cracking deal. And I am very much looking forward to trying this gin. I've got about three more of the minis I got in my advent calendar to finish. And once I have finished those, I will be on to this. Looking forward to it. I'll let you know what it's like. I will link all the Amazon. I can't guarantee that these will all be the same price that I paid for them, but some of them might be. So I'll link everything I'm showing you from Amazon in the description box below in case you're interested. The next thing I got was this Neil's Yard Wild Rose Hand Cream. Neil's Yard is a lovely brand. It's um, organic and um, clean and all of those buzzwords that are popular at the moment although Neil's Yard has been around for years hasn't it I thought Wild Rose hand cream sounded lovely now this is I think it's £10 is the RRP I paid £4.99 for it so half price so I was very happy with that um, it's not the biggest tube in the world, but at £5, I thought that was worth it. Half of the recommended retail price. Again, I found that on latest deals. Next, I picked up these Kath Kidston um, Shine Bright Four Christmas Crackers with Assorted Bath and Body Treats. Um, aren't they pretty? I'm not the world's biggest Kath fan, but something about these, I think because they're Christmassy, I just really liked them. And they were such a good price. They were £5.99, and the cheapest I can find them elsewhere on the internet is £17. But £5.99, I couldn't say no to these. Now, they have inside them, wait one moment, please, caller. Now, they've each got inside them a 30ml body wash in various different flavours, and apparently they are vegan friendly. I'm going to be putting these away till next Christmas. Don't know whether I'll use them sort of like decorate. I might take the innards out and use them for decorating, or I might just do them as stocking filler gifts for people. I'm not sure, but I just think that was such a good bargain. Loved it. Couple more bits from Amazon. I got this Revlon, is it Revlon? Yes, Revlon Lip Plumping Cream um, in the colour Cashmere, I believe this is. Um, I like a good lip plumper. As you get old, your lips get thinner, don't they? So I'm looking forward to giving this a go. Um, this was £3.09 and the RRP of this is £6.99. Um, so again, half price. 
less than half price, considerably less than half price actually. Um, very happy with that to try, price to try something out. I also got this book by Stacey Solomon, Tap to Tidy. I love Stacey Solomon. I follow her on Instagram and I think she's absolutely great. So positive and uplifting and enthusiastic about life. I like Stacey. Uh, the RRP of this one is £10, I believe. £14.99 in fact. I paid £4 for this through latest deals and the cheapest I can find it elsewhere on the internet is £7.50 so I'm looking forward to reading this um, and isn't it pretty as well? Just a really nice pretty hardback book. £4 for a hardback book, can't say fairer than that. The final item I got was this little gel nail polish set. Um, from Amazon. This was reduced from 9 99 to 4 99 I'm just trying to get the sticky label off the box so I can open it. There are eight little bottles of different gel polishes um, and those are the colours. I really, they're sort of neutrally pink colours aren't they? And I really liked those. Sorry I can't get that to focus my face out and it might do but yeah I thought those were really nice pretty colours and five pounds for eight different colours seemed like a bargain to me. Right let's move on to charity shop bits I've got three charity shop bits to show you first one is this top this is from two at Sainsbury's I hope you can't hear the builder noise um, it's just a t-shirt a little bit like the one I've got on but sleeveless or sort of almost a cap, no it's sleeveless isn't it, cap sleeve and it's, I think this is a linen knit, I paid £2.75 for this one and it's not a linen knit, it's viscose and polyester but it has that sort of linen knit feel about it, you know that sort of slubby, slightly slubby feel, um, just perfect basic staple for the summer that'll be um, and at £2.75 you can't say no. Next thing I bought was this little bracelet. This was £1.50 and it's just elasticated but I just thought it's, it's like enamel and it's flowers and I just thought it was so pretty. It's yellow and I just thought that was lovely for the summertime. Just really pretty, quite unusual and for £1.50 it looks a bit antique doesn't it? A bit vintage style and um, yeah, it just, it just really caught my eye. Final charity shop item is this set here from Cowshed. That's a nice brand, isn't it, Cowshed? It's um, a blissful bath and shower gel and a blissful body lotion. I paid £3.49 for that. I've no idea what the recommended retail price is, but I suspect it's consider well, it will be considerably more than that because it is a quite expensive brand, so. That was a nice little find as well. Finally, I did a little order from TK Maxx. I do like a meander through the TK Maxx online clearance section. In fact, I do better with TK Maxx online than I do in the store, generally speaking. I ordered four things. Let's start with this. As I just mentioned earlier, my Jo Malone bath oil is almost at the end and I wanted a nice looking product to for my bath that was in nice packaging and I felt like that really hit the spot. It's Pecksniffs is the brand. You see them a lot in um, TK Maxx and this is a fine fragrance bath soak, considerably bigger than my Jo Malone one. And the bottle is glass so it's lovely quality and the scent is honeydew and ginger. Oh that's very nice. Probably not quite as nice as the Jo Malone one but very nice and fresh. And it just looks lovely, doesn't it? I paid £5.99 for that, which I thought was very reasonable. I then got this Pixie. I don't know how well you can see this. I like the brand Pixie. I've, I'm quite keen on them. And this is a pink salt cleansing oil, face cleansing oil. I was a bit fascinated by it. It's actually got, I don't know if you can see it, pink salt in the bottom there. Himalayan sea salt. Um, I don't know what properties sea salt has oh it will tell me on the back here mineral help if i could speak mineral rich himalayan salt infused oil helps detoxify and purify skin as it deeply cleanses while while leaving skin restored and balanced 
formulated with antioxidants and botanical extracts for radiantly cleansed skin. Now I love a cleansing balm and a cleansing oil and I liked the fact this was a push down top so you don't have to get your fingers in which you do with a lot of cleansing balms and things and I just thought it was really interesting. It was 5 99 so I was very keen to try it at that price and I don't know what the um, recommended retail of this one is but I'm sure it's considerably more than that. So yeah. Finally, two candles, again both from TK Maxx. Um, I can't remember what I paid for this one. I feel, oh, it says 19.99 on here, but it was in the clearance section, so it was less than that. I feel like it was 15, maybe. It's a very heavy one. It's by Sand and Fog, and it is called. In, it says inspired on the California coast, and it was called. I can't see the. Oh, it's underneath here. It's called Sun and Fun and wooden lid that's got a big sticker on it. I'm in TK Maxx and their stickers. I'll get the steamer on that later to get rid of it. It's got seven wicks, I think that is. One, two, three, yeah, seven wicks. And it's a big chilled beast. And I wanted this. This is going to be part of my summer table centre when the time comes for a summer table centre. And I wanted a big wide candle for that. Bonuses. It smells lovely. A little bit of suntan oil and coconut a little bit floral as well. That's lovely. I don't know if it says the um, scent. Um, no, it just says the name of it. And then because I was placing an order, I couldn't resist another one. This is another candle. It, this one was seven ninety nine original price. I, can't, I think it was down to a fiver. I think I paid for this one. And this one is white vanilla, I think. Yeah, white vanilla. It's a three wick one. And that is lovely. It's vanilla, but it's not too sweet. It's very pure sort of, um, you know when you smell a vanilla pod without the added sweetness? It smells like that. Lovely, excited to try both of those. Right, that is the haul, and all of the haul, as Carla would say. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll link what I can in the description box below. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.